Hello. Uh, I'm going to... I feel like I start all my videos by saying we're going to do a little experiment today, but guess what? That's what we're doing. We're doing an experiment. Um, I have a flip cup that has about this much paint left in it, and I don't want to waste it, and it looks pretty, so we're going to experiment by putting it on this scrap piece of wood that I have. It is definitely a scrap. It even has a footprint on the back. I don't know where it came from. I think it came from my garage. I have coated it with GAC 100, which is a golden product. Most everything I use is a golden product. This prevents support-induced discoloration, otherwise known as SID. Wood has tannins and other impurities in it that could possibly discolor your paint and change the way it looks over time by leaching those things into the paint from underneath if you don't coat it with some sort of barrier. So the GAC 100 is that barrier, GAC 100. Uh, I also use GAC 800 in my paint recipe along with Floetrol. Never use silicone. You can find my recipe in the description down below. Just because I'm going to coat it with brown, because well, because I'm trying to get rid of this brown. This is a mixture that I made that I wanted to be burnt sienna. And I just recently bought a actual burnt sienna and I'm excited to use the pure golden burnt sienna. So I'm trying to, this is golden paint, but I mixed it myself. It's, um, I don't even remember what all colors it had in it. I think naphthol red and little bit of Hansa yellow and some some ultramarine blue or phthalo blue I can't remember probably ultramarine blue not sure coating the sides uh, so this flip cup mixture that is left over is pretty mixed already. So I think I might put a little more white in it. And we'll do sort of a tree ring pour over the whole thing. Maybe like a ribbon pour? I've never done that. Why not? all flowing off one side. I think I'll just tilt it around and see what happens. I don't know if I said, but the remnants in the cup were phthalo blue, white, burnt sienna, teal, and there might have been some black in there. I can't remember. I did some with black, some without black. All right. It's an interesting composition. Check my size. Sides are pretty coated. It's 
getting a weird ripple there, so let's try to dump that. Go off. Where did my cup go? Got these medicine cups underneath. I was just trying to not get the remnants of the paint that was on the rulers from the previous paintings onto this one. I want that to go off the edge over here. Or do I? What would happen? Maybe a little bit? I like the stretchy. Maybe I'll just keep tilting it back and forth. giving it some nice movement. Pretty interesting. Not too keen on that. What if I swiped that just to see what happens? Just a tiny little swipe in the corner. But then I'm going to mess up that ribbon. Maybe I'll just. Maybe I could drag a popsicle stick through it or something. a little too muddy. I feel like I might regret it if I mess with it though. It definitely has like a foreground and a background situation and I don't want to mess it up. I like it! Who knew? Experiments are fun. I'm not sure which way I would orient this. I think I sort of like it lengthwise like that. I'm sorry that my drip pan is so messy that it's hard to see the painting for all the chaos. We'll come back and look at it on a different surface so you can see the details. I'm sort of digging that brown background. I don't think I've ever done a brown background before. I'm 
Got some pretty intricate cells there. That's the one thing about flip cup. I really, I do a lot more swipes, but flip cups, man, the cells are just so interesting. I mean, look at, look at the intricacy within those little guys. I love it. All right, we'll come back and check it out later. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe. Click the bell icon in order to get more notifications. And don't forget to check out my paintings and my merch like this shirt on seaholesharp.com. Bye.